what's going on guys welcome to my print shop um you can see back there i have an x bamboo labs x1 carbon and i have two ams systems one on the top and one on the bottom there in the background we're gonna print out various things on this channel um i'm learning so i am not a professional this is not going to be a diy channel or informational channel really it's just going to be what i'm learning on the way and hopefully you enjoy the journey with me um basically with that being said i'm learning you can see on the bottom there in the background too i started out with the ender threes but it was just too much tinkering and this bamboo lab x1 carbon is a plug and play unit uh i'm really excited about the unit because Sometimes I just don't have a lot of time to figure out things. And those Ender 3s, they're great units if you're really interested in tinkering with them, right? That's just my opinion. Now, with that being said, I have printed various things. I have done some live shows already on this channel, but I basically wanted to explain what direction I would like to take with this channel and what I'm looking to do. So basically, this is gonna help me with my other channel, my other YouTube channel, and printing out parts for cables that I make. Also, that was the main reason. I was like, well, you know what? Let's just learn, make a channel, and we can learn together. Maybe I get some pointers and you guys can help me out of what I would need to do to print uh, various materials out and everything else. And we're gonna talk about today TPU, actually in this intro as well. The struggles that I've, you know, I went through to print the TPU. We finally got it kind of dialed in from the live streams. But um, I guess uh, without further ado, let me show you the adapter piece that I printed out so we can actually use TPU. Okay, so before I show you the piece physically in the back of the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon in the back there, I want to show you the file that I used. Um, let's show you the file right now. This is the file that I used here, and basically it's for the X1 Carbon. That's the slice plate. It's for a smooth plate, and you can see there that it worked. You know, it looks pretty good right there. So it has um, some threads in there on the top and the bottom, and, uh, you know, we sliced it up and we printed it out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, you know, it installed in the X1 Carbon, we did clear so it could be as transparent as possible to make it work, you know, to see if you can actually see the filament, but we're using white filament, so you really can't see it through. And um, I had the adapters already from, um, actually the, I used the adapters, so you guys know, from the Ender 3s. So that was really cool that I was able to use the adapters for the Ender 3s, and uh, it worked out perfectly. So let's go take a look at the unit installed, and I'll talk about it. Okay, so here's the unit right here. Check this out. So you can see right here, here's a Y adapter right there. That's the coupler that comes with the X1 carbon. See right there. And all I did was use a little piece right here that I put in here, it's in there. And then these are the nozzles, believe it or not. So these were the nozzles that came out of the Ender 3s. Check this out. Hold on one second. Let me just get a good, uh, there we go. So that came on the nozzles right there. So I have three or four Ender 3s right now. Took those off and utilized that. So then we could have the adapters right there, right there, right there, and right there. So the print came out really, really nice. It does work. See right here. And then also I'll tell you something about what I did with the TPU as well. It was a little crazy, like how to get this uh, situated was uh, quite a challenge. But right here, so when you see right here, these are just the hose nozzles here. Those are the hoses that go in here in the fittings. So nothing gets, uh, you know, stuck. But these screws here, see if I get a little closer. Those screws right there, no good at all. They did not work right. Um, they won't. They won't hold this in, but it still works though. So the, the, the main purpose of, you know, this video and showing you guys that this unit does work. So I'm really happy with that. But you can see here, this is not a Bamboo Labs TPU. I'm gonna show you what the TPU is that I'm using. So this is the TPU that I'm using. It's the Elegoo TPU. 
And these are all the parameters that's, that needs to be met basically to print this TPU. But the problem was it's cardboard, right? So the cardboard was really, really hard to move in that dryer unit. So what I did was when you get the another AMS system, that's really cool. They give you four of these for, for refills. So that's, I mean, hey, you can't complain about that, especially how expensive the AMS unit is. So you're able to take the cardboard out and you're able to just put this together and it makes it glide in the dryer that you saw that it's in, you know. So it worked out really, really well. This is a test print that we did. It's a Bamboo Lab logo. I mean, honestly, I could say that it came out flawless, right? Take a look at this here. This is the Benchy here. It didn't, this was, this is trial and error. So this is one of the Benchies. I threw out another Benchy, but we have a good Benchy right here. I mean, as good as it's going to get, I think. Probably could dial in a little bit more. But take a look at that. That's really cool, the Benchy. And then, you know, I do a Benchy for every print that we do. I do a Benchy on every print. Except the blue. we got to get a blue one. But the main thing was this gasket in here. So I just did the live show on this gasket. And you can see right here. It's soft, flexible, and it came out phenomenal. So if you guys want to see the journey about that gasket being print or a couple of these other pieces when we did the channel, basically, when we started out with the channel, feel free to take a look at those other videos. But overall, really, really happy with, uh, with this unit itself. Um, I can't complain. This works. And that was another thing here, the glide, it has to glide. You see how nice it glides? If it doesn't glide, it doesn't glide on here. It just, it's kind of pretty, pretty stuck on the factory unit right there. But also you don't need a Y adapter for this unit. The reason why I did a Y adapter was because I have AMS units. Now I could just unload this and then load through one of the AMS units and not have to unplug this unit ever. That was the main reason why I did this. Um, you don't have to do this to make, you know, TPU or, you know, an external spool working. I did that because my application, I have two AMS units. I don't want to have to worry about it. I could just unload this, keep the TPU in, in the dry box right there, and just move on with my other projects. You know, I have two AMS units, as you can see right there. And uh, I don't want to have to worry about loading and unloading units. You know, so with that being said, that's all I got for you guys. This was an intro, and I wanted to talk about TPU. And we have other filaments and other manufacturers. Who knows if that would even print. But uh, you're following the my journey. We're going to be printing some crazy stuff. But that's all I got for you guys. I appreciate it, and I'll talk to you guys later. See you on the next one.